limited storage space is something we're having to deal with more and more on our smartphones. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and here are a few ways you can free up storage space on your Android phone after the first boot. When you boot your Android device for the very first time, you are taken through a relatively simple and quick setup process. Once you get through that, the floodgates are open for personalization and customization. But over the last few years, two things have happened. The Android operating system has grown, nearly tripling in size. Custom strains of Android, such as TouchWiz and Sense, are up to five times larger than that. In fact, TouchWiz atop 4.2.2 on the Galaxy S4 was found to be 1.5 gigabytes in size, versus the 328 megabyte stock 4.2.2 image on the Nexus 4. The problem is, built-in storage has only slightly increased. Two years ago, 2 gigabytes and 4 gigabytes was all some phones had inside. Now 16 gigabytes is standard, but many manufacturers have decided to move away from expandable storage, meaning those 16 gigabytes are more important than ever. Yet manufacturers continue to add more and more bloat to their system images, making storage space a bit cramped for anyone who loves to store content. Apps, games, movies, music, podcasts, and pictures. Fortunately, there are some things you can do to free up space after your first boot. Many phones come with samples in the form of high-res pictures and possibly a video to show off how great the display is. I'm not talking about wallpapers either, but pictures that are preloaded in the gallery application. Most of the time, these are easily removed. Long press, select all, and delete. Just in case I ever need them again though, I generally send them to Dropbox first. Demonstration videos can be removed just as easily. These won't save a whole lot of storage space, but every bit counts, especially if you're never going to use any of the pictures or videos. Chances are, you won't. Some devices also come with documentation, how-to guides, and other information stored on PDF files. Like the pictures, it's not a bad idea to send those to the cloud and free up onboard storage. A lot of the Android devices these days come with a horde of preloaded applications, or bloatware. These come from both the carrier and the manufacturer. Some of these preloaded applications overlap built-in apps or services, making things a bit redundant. Depending on carrier and manufacturer preferences, however, some pre-installed applications can be removed. Simply navigate to Application Manager in the Settings app, locate the application you want to remove, and hit the Uninstall button. You may notice that when you hit the Uninstall button on some applications, they still appear to be on the device. What this means is the application itself wasn't uninstalled, but the last update was. Unfortunately, not all these applications can be removed without gaining root access. In my last video, I explained that with root, you can use an application called Titanium Backup to remove pre-installed applications that couldn't otherwise be removed. But, since not everyone is quite so gung-ho about rooting their device, the best thing you can do in this situation is disable the application. Once again, navigate to Application Manager, locate the application, and hit the Disable button. While it doesn't free up storage, it prevents the application from running and, likewise, prevents it from accruing any more data in the background, a precautionary measure if you will. Some phones come with desktop software install files on the internal storage. When you plug the device into a PC, the file will run and install sync software on your computer. You can simply move this file over to your computer if you don't want to delete it, or install it first, then delete. Chances are the software is available for download online, and it's probably a newer version anyway. By leaving it on your device, it's just another one of the hundreds of random, unused files taking up space. Another option to try and save space is to uncheck the Google Restore option after logging into your primary Google account. By default, assuming the manufacturer or carrier didn't disable the restore process, Google will load all the applications you had installed on your last Android device automatically. Over time, it's very likely that you acquired a handful of applications that you only used once, if ever. By disabling this, sure, you will have to download every application manually, but you can pick and choose what you have on the device. If you already let the restore process run, however, you can simply go through your applications and remove any restored apps that you don't think you'll need. There are a ton of ways you can save storage space through learning new habits. For instance, you can set up an automatic upload of all pictures on your device to a cloud account so you can free up onboard storage. Or you can simply get into the habit of deleting anything and everything as soon as you're done with it, like apps and games. Sadly, until 32GB of inbuilt storage becomes the standard, low device storage will be a constant battle we all have to fight. So that's all for now. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can also find us on your favorite social networks, Google+, Twitter, and Facebook at PocketNow. Or you can find me on Twitter at CasperTech. 
I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.